waves already, but it's kept us cloudy and easterly breeze from time to time. And now we're talking about that east northeasterly wind out there still in place, but we've got a warm front down to the south and as it lifts in, it's also going to lift in a chance for severe storms. So far tonight, we've seen a lot of heavy downpours, some hail also reported back to the west and now they're under tornado watches as we go into Tennessee. We're under a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms. This will last from about 8 o'clock until 2, 3 a.m. tomorrow morning and you're looking at some warnings here down south into South Carolina. We've got tornado watches, severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings that are now popping up for folks. So we're watching these thunderstorm cells very carefully and we do have a risk of damaging winds. Isolated tornadoes may accompany some of these storms and large hail. Now on average, the marginal risk area has lower incidence of tornadic activity, but we can't rule it out tonight. We've got just too much winds aloft going in different directions, different speeds. This could provide some really good strong updrafts for us and at times that could create some spinning in the atmosphere, the kind that could create some isolated tornadoes. So we'll be watching for that. You've got temperatures right now though in the 50s, so it has been cooler, but the instability is actually going to build aloft. And so that's the change that we expect to see. You've got those rain showers, those thunderstorms, heavier downpours that'll be with us as we go through early tomorrow morning. Uh, and then those showers really starting to taper off. Now late tomorrow, we could see a few passing showers and into early Monday morning, we hold on to a shower or storm. It doesn't look like we're going to see a lot in the way of severe weather late tomorrow, but we will see the winds. The winds are going to come up and you'll have a little bit of sunshine trying to mix in. Look at this from about 8 o'clock to 3 a.m. Marginal risk for severe thunderstorms for us. Of course, we've talked about your threat for the damaging winds could take down some tree branches. It might be a noisy night too. With a good amount of lightning. We're seeing tons of lightning here right out ahead of this front. We've got good energy at the surface and as we mentioned, the good winds and profile aloft for severe weather tonight. 63 in Ashboro. We are at 61 in Greensboro. Highs today hit 64 in Burlington and now you're back into the 50s with clouds drizzle and a little fog settling in. It won't last long though. We expect this warm front to continue lifting in. You look at the temperatures to the south. They're in the 80s. So this is where a warm front is set up. We do need to get it on the move though in order for some of those severe thunderstorms to form. Although we would prefer not to have that situation develop. We're watching it carefully the next few hours. Your marginal risk area stays in place through at least early tomorrow morning. We're watching wind profiles. Also a concern for power outages tomorrow. Scattered to moderate power outages may be possible from Charlotte as we head out toward the Raleigh area. All right, take a look at your temperatures. 47 degrees in the mountains will warm you to 57 degrees late tomorrow, so it's a cooler day. You have a little bit of sunshine mixing in east of the Blue Ridge Parkway to the west. You might be stuck in the clouds and the showers most of the day, but we'll keep in rain chances, low chance east of the mountains, a little bit higher. And as you go into the afternoon and evening, better rain chances for all of us. It does look like a couple more waves with this very broad upper low stretching through. You've got 52 degrees in the foothills with storm chances warming to 65 and rain chances at 30% later in the day. An isolated storm possible with 69 degrees and your temperatures in the tribe from 56 warming with a west southwesterly wind and good bit of sunshine early part of the day to a rain chance of 30% near 70 for that high. Those winds will be gusty at times too. Your Sunday severe risk, we're out of it. We just have general thunderstorm possibilities if we even see that. You're looking at your hour by hour forecast or RPM model showing right here. Yeah, we've got those showers clearing by 4 or 5 a.m. The heavier downpours tonight could bring in the winds. Tomorrow though, it's a mix of sun, some clouds, some winds, and it should be overall a pretty nice day. Not a washout for many. You should still be able to get to the parks or head out around your neighborhood and enjoy the afternoon. You're looking at shower chances though building back later in the evening and an isolated storm or two for the triad may be possible. You're working into the 40s though by early Monday morning, so it will be a little cooler. Upper 60s on Monday and we take you into middle part of the week with those rain chances. They're back too with rainfall totals that look to be up to an inch by the time we get you through Wednesday and early Thursday. Your temperature profile seasonable for this time of the year. We're targeting 73 for highs. Instead, we've got some sunshine a little cooler on Monday with 68. It's breezy. We'll expect those winds, the rain to come back and forth and then ending the week on a warm note with 79 by next Saturday.